There's so many words, but none can describe the fullness of who you were and what you've done for me, Lord. And I can only emerge in the splendor of your royalty, your glory and your majesty beyond what I perceive. Cause there's so many words, but none can describe the fullness of who you are and what you've done for me. I can only imagine the splendor of your royalty, your glory and your majesty beyond what I perceive. And there's so many words, but none can describe the fullness of who you are and what you've done for me, Lord. And I can only imagine the splendor of your royalty, your glory and your majesty beyond what I perceive. I am content with who I am and where you're leading me. It's in your plans and I am grateful. And I am grateful. I am content with who I am and where you're leading me. It's in your plans, and I am grateful. And I am grateful. The worship arise, your glory descend. The fullness of who you are, your presence fills this place. Glory in your majesty, beyond what I perceive. Lord, the worship arise, your glory to send, Lord. The fullness of who you are, your presence fills this place. And I can only imagine the splendor of your royalty. Your glory and your majesty, beyond what I With who I am and where you're leading me, see your plans, and I am grateful, and I am grateful. I am content with who I am and where you're leading me, see your plans, and I am grateful, and I am grateful.
Claim your liberty to the captives everywhere. Preach to the poor, open wide the gates. Of every praise, away your glory shines forever, Lord. With the Spirit in my life, can do anything. Cause my strength is not my own. Your joy in my soul. I'm the seed you can sow. In your power, I will go till every nation. You are Ladies and gentlemen, I trust you're all fine. I take this opportunity with great delight to welcome you all to this Virtual Lydia Award Celebration 2023. Well, my name is Churchill Odiambo Winston, and I'm a PS7 volunteer based in Nairobi, Kenya.
I also assist with Peer Teens Global in the area of technology. We are thrilled to have you online with us today. This event, this celebration that we are having is lovingly named after a woman from the scripture. The book of Acts chapter 16 read about Lydia, who was a hardworking business person and also channeled the proceeds of her business to supporting Apostle Paul and his companions in extending the kingdom of God. But that's not all. Today we're going to listen to three stories of amazing micro entrepreneurs who like Lydia of the old have established businesses in their communities that are co causing positive ripples of change. By the way, after listening to their stories, you'll get the chance to help us select the winner for this edition. It is my honor and privilege to invite two wonderful individuals. First, Hano Yugi Mashatha, who is a member of the PS Service Board of Directors and also the first person to introduce me to this organization. Well, the next person is someone who is akin to a father figure to most of the peer teens, Mr. Todd Engelson, the esteemed president of peer servants. So without further ado, I take this opportunity to welcome Hannah and Todd. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the event. Thank you, Churchill. Welcome to our 2023 Virtual Lydia Awards. My name is Hannah Machatha and I am a volunteer with Peer Servants for over 10 years now and I also currently serve on the board of Peer Servants. I am joined today by Todd Engelson, who's the president of Peer Servants. Thank you, Hannah, and welcome everyone. We are very honored that you've joined us today. If you're not familiar with Peer Servants, we are a group of hundreds of volunteers around the world that have a common passion and that is to see the kingdom of heaven come to earth. We partner with 10 organizations in Africa, Asia, Eastern Europe, and the Americas who invite us in to support their programs that are extending the kingdom to tens of thousands of materially poor families. They offer programs in microfinance, education, healthcare, youth empowerment, and food and water security. Todd, I know that through these partnerships, we are truly seeing the last become first, which is very exciting to see. We are seeing mothers and fathers able to provide for their families through small businesses and have access to the loans that they need to get their businesses going and growing. We are also seeing young people have access to education and some of them all the way to the university level. We are also seeing the materially poor have access to quality and affordable health care and also access to food and water security. And Hannah, what you have just described is the kingdom coming near. That's how Jesus described it. The kingdom is near. And it's our theme for this coming year that we're kicking off with this virtual Lydia celebration. There's even better news for those of you who've made Jesus your king. The kingdom's not only near, it's here. Amen. And that's the mission of Peer Servants, is to, to bring the kingdom nearer to those who are not yet fully experiencing it. And now we are going to hear from some of our, of our Peer Servants volunteers how the Lord is using Peer Servants as an organization and also our global partners to extend the kingdom of God here on earth and truly bring it near. And right after that, you're going to hear from some of my favorite musicians in the world, some young people in Pure Teens Uganda whom God has gifted with the ability to lead us in worship. They're going to kick off our uh, theme, our musical theme for this coming year called Near. So thanks for coming and welcome. Thank you. Jesus taught his disciples how to pray. May your kingdom come. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Is Jesus' vision possible? Can the kingdom of heaven come near? Can we experience his kingdom right here in our midst? Praise God for his continuous work of extending his kingdom here on earth as it is in heaven. 
Honestly, I used to have so many vices. I was known for being a troublemaker in this neighborhood. I thank the Lord for using CCT to bring me closer to Him. And now, I am blessed to be able to help my community. I am able to grow my business by taking out loans through CCT. My friends and I used to drink here all night, but now we conduct Bible studies and discipleship sessions here in my house. I really thank the Lord for using the partnership of CCT with Pure Servants to bring the kingdom near to me and my family. Thank you for bringing the kingdom near. When Jesus sent out the twelve disciples, he said, Go and announce to them that the kingdom of heaven is near. Hello everyone, my name is Pesis Chuenzamba, a peer teen scholar from Zambia. Uh, when I lost both my parents, I never thought I would attend university. Uh, I joined peer teen Zambia through um, our local microfinance organization, something, and never in my wildest thoughts did I think that God would select me to be a peer teen scholar? So God selected a couple from New York City, Patrice and Dave, to sponsor my education throughout my university life. And now I'm just a month away from graduating as a radiographer. I want to say thank you to God for this, the partnership between Peer Servants and Semfi that has brought the kingdom near to me and has equipped me to bring the kingdom near to others. Thank you for bringing the kingdom near. One day, the Pharisees asked Jesus, when will the kingdom of God come? Jesus replied, the kingdom of God can't be detected by visible signs. You won't be able to say, here it is, or it's over there. For the kingdom of God is already among you. Hi, my name is Magezi Joseph. I was born into a Muslim family, but I met Jesus Christ when I was still in Kampala. And in Kampala, the community was not favoring for me for my faith, so I decided to come in Arua. Uh, in Arua, I saw a group of young, energetic people serving the community with joy, extending the kingdom to the prisoners, to the elders, and the youths in the community. Uh, and uh, I wanted to join them. And through my friend Donald, I joined them, and now I sing the songs about the kingdom. Uh, thank you, Pad and peer servants, for partnering to bring the kingdom near me and allowing me to extend the kingdom to others. Hi, everyone. When Jesus sent out the 72, he said, Heal the sick and tell them the kingdom of heaven is right near you now. Buenas tardes, mi nombre es Silvia López. Good afternoon, my name is Silvia López. I went to the medical clinic when I noticed that my 10 years old daughter Natalie had dark patches on her body. I brought her to Potter's house because I can depend on them to offer quality and affordable healthcare. 
the pediatrician diagnosed her with insulin resistance, which in the long run will have result in diabetes. The nutritionist at Porter's house helped Natalie develop some lifestyle changes in diet and exercise, and within weeks, her health improved. No dark patches and much more energy and confidence. Porter's house helped heal my daughter. Thank you, Porter's house and peer servants, for bringing more of the kingdom of heaven to our family. Jesus told his followers, seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and he will give you everything you need. Jesus also made this promise and I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. We returned to our villages in South Sudan after peace was restored in this country. But following the war, we returned to nothing completely. Salt has provided us with what we needed to produce and grow our own food and be able to provide others so that they will be able to grow their food in excess. So we thank God very much for using our partnership between the salt and our peer servant. Therefore, thank you very much. Thank you, peer servants and family, and all of the global partners for seeking the kingdom first and using the keys given to you by God to allow many more to experience the kingdom of heaven on earth. The 
Your joy in my soul. I'm the seed you can sow. In your power, I will go till every nation knows. I'm Silvia Paredes. I am a peer servants volunteer on Team Guatemala, supporting our partnership with the amazing Porter's House Association. And hello, everyone. I'm Anna Hack. I'm a peer servants volunteer on Team Philippines, supporting our partnership with the truly kingdom extending CCT, the Center for Community Transformation. In addition, Sylvia and I are both members of the Peer Servants Lydia Award Committee. Our nine microfinance partners have thousands of very impressive clients who, like Lydia of the Bible, are using their businesses to bless and transform their communities. Each partner can nominate two microentrepreneurs as their Lydia Awards nominees. This year, we received 17 nominees, and the members of the Lydia Award Committee had the fun job of reading through all of the submissions <laughs> and the very <laughs> difficult task of oh. selecting the three that inspired us the most. Uh, we invite you now to watch these three short videos about this year's finalists. And afterwards, Mr. Doug Mossrum, the peer volunteers who lead this team, will explain how you can help us vote right in this virtual gathering as a part of the process of selecting this year's winner. <laughs> it is our honor to introduce you by video to Kadara from Uganda, Lydia from the Philippines, and Papi Tharan from Sri Lanka. Woo! <laughs> Ito ang isla puting bato. Maraming tao takot dito kasi delikado daw. Mahirap lang ang buhay namin dito. Yung mga tao, minsan walang makain. Pero kagaya ko, mga tao dito, maraming pangarap.
Ibang iba talaga ako noon. Sobrang hirap din ang buhay. Tapos ang family ko talagang broken family. Pero dumating ang panahon na gusto ko rin mabago ang buhay ko. Inalaman ko sa kumari ko na mayroon palang si City. Tapos pinaliwanag niya sa akin. Sumali ako sa si City. So doon nagsimula yung aking pagkakilala sa Panginoon. Yung unang ko ang loan, dalawan libo lang. So ang ginawa ko para lumago yung pera, uh, ibinili ko ng manok na ilang kilo. Tapos ang ginagawa ko, hinahatid ko sa mga kapitbahay ko. Ang ginagawa ko doon sa aking pagpapautang, binigyan kita ngayon ng isang halbawa sa linggong to, uh, magbabayad sila para naisip ko na siguro makakatulong na rin ako doon sa kanila dahil hindi naman mabigat. Sabi ko nga sa mister ko, kailangan na, na magtayo na tayo ng ano, sari-sari store para kahit pa paano, Instead na pupunta pa sila sa iba para ko para bumili ng bigas. So, naisip ko naman ang daming mga bata. Kaya ang ginawa ko, nagloon ako ng malaki sa sisiti. Kung saan, doon ako bumili muna ng, ano, ng mga limang bisonet. Naisip kasi namin mag-asawa na mas malaki ang kikitain kung may sarili talaga kaming alagang manok. So, iyon ang ginawa namin. Nag-alaga kami talaga ng manok. Dito na talaga ako lumaki. So, nangarap din ako na makatulong ako sa mga tao rito. Uh, dahil sa hirap ng buhay, nakatulong na ako dito sa Isla Puting Bato. Katulad ng mga bisik na pangangailangan, naibigay ko yung ilaw, tubig, tapos yung, ano, yung kalinisan. Uh, nais ko rin ipalawakin yung aking kaalaman na kung saan sa buong komunidad na ng ano, Barangay 20. Sa pamamagitan din ng CCT, uh, doon ko natutunan kung paano rin mag-handle ng isang fellowship bilang isang CSL ng CCT. Eh, Nakakapag-handle na rin ako kung paano ko i-guide yung Word of God. Sanchez, malit na negosyante mula sa Isla Puting Bato, Philippines. So you've just seen a video of Lydia in everything that she has done here in the Philippines and how God has worked through her in her community. But we are here with Lydia and heard her testimony in person. I've been so touched by it. So my vote is going for Lydia. Your should too. Yeah. 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 Welcome to Arua, a bustling town in northern Uganda, where every day is market day. In Arua, you find a majority of entrepreneurs are women looking to sell food items and everyday household items to make ends meet. Competition is very high as the items are similar and one has to stand out to be very successful. This is where we meet our Lydia Award finalist, Kadara Kandiru. She has not only overcome these and other barriers, but has successfully built a business after an accident. When Kadara was growing up, people did not see much value in sending the girl child to school. So she dropped out of school at an early age and got married. Her husband, a Muslim, gave her a small amount to start a fish business in a rural town. Kadara was surviving, but was not really prospering. Her husband had other wives, so she knew she had to make a way for herself and her children. She changed to a restaurant business, which was a bit better. But that ended tragically when she was involved in an accident that nearly claimed her life. 
After the accident, I was bedridden and did not work for two years with many fractures. I spent all of my savings and capitals on hospital care. I lost everything. Around the time I was recovering, I heard about a training CAFEC was having in my community on selecting, planning and management of income generating activities for small businessmen and women. I picked up the courage to get up from my sick bed and return to business. I got a loan of $56 and started selling in the market items like sugar, cooking oil, salt and basic things people need on a daily basis. The business grew, my profits increased and eventually I was able to purchase land for agriculture so that I could sell produce. I employed five people. Two ladies to work in the market selling food items on a full-time basis and three people to work on my farm. Generally, CAFEC does not give loans to a brand new business. But Kader was highly recommended by other CAFEC clients and community leaders. So we bent the rules and gave her a loan. She has been so faithful with the payment and larger loans and faithful repayment. In CAFEC, we organize our clients into groups and Kadra has become the leader of her client group and she is one of the best leaders. She collects the loans from the other clients in her group. She always has everything ready when the loan officer comes. She faithfully attends the Catholic prayer times and fellowships, where we read the word of God, even though she is a Muslim. Kadara uses the profit from her business to support the need people in her community, so that the people will not be hungry. She sends support to churches, mosques, and community development initiatives. Also, Kadara has been able to contribute significantly to community borehole drilling and maintenance so that her community can have a fresh water supply. Aka bala rendera manga sendera ayo if I win this award, I will use the funds to expand my produce business to farming beans and cassava on a large scale. Currently, I am using just two acres, but I hope to grow to five acres. I hope to grow from employing three people on the farm to employing 15 people. I want to add transportation and a grinding machine. I hope to become the biggest supplier of produce items in my community by the year 2028. That is my dream. Our hope is that you will join us to make Kadara's dream come true. May God bless you all. Vote for Kadara! My name is Kamalendini Papitaran. My family lived through the civil war in Sri Lanka. Displaced from our village many times during the war, I finally returned home in 2011. Shortly after, I met my husband. He was unfortunately diagnosed with epilepsy and soon I became the sole provider for him and our family. Having just learned to sew, I borrowed a sewing machine and started making handbags. While I began to make some money, it was not enough. Fortunately, some of my friends told me about Vigro, the peer servant's partner in Sri Lanka. When I approached Vigro, they gave me an initial loan of $100. With this, I purchased materials needed to make the handbags and then soon qualified for a second loan of 160 with which I was able to purchase more supplies. My business began growing, my profit doubled, and I was now in a position to hire a young woman as my first employee. Additionally, as my husband's condition improved, he also learned to make handbags, helping the business to grow. 
I always strive to make quality products. Although I began with handbags, I have started getting orders for school backpacks. And with another loan from Vigro for almost $1,000, my business has seen exponential growth and I have been able to employ two more women. Connecting with the community, I have established relationships with local shops and schools and now have almost 700 customers. Currently, my business is run out of our home, but one day I hope to establish it outside of the house as well as hire more women. Additionally, if I were able to purchase digital sewing machines, I could create more bags in hopes of one day owning my own handbag and backpack factory. I can now meet the needs of our family. My son goes to a good school and we are financially stable. Working with Vigro, the government and other NGOs, I have created more job opportunities, trained over 1,300 women and provided a safe and a flexible working environment for those in my community. I hope that other women like me can see that partnering with organizations like Vigro it is possible to overcome challenges and become self-sufficient with a hope for a brighter tomorrow. Make the best choice and vote for Papi Taran. Papi Taran. Hi, everyone. Well, I hope you really enjoyed hearing all about our three amazing finalists. I am asking you to vote for the 2023 Lydia Award winner. The Lydia Award Committee chose our three finalists based on seven different areas of their applications. Growth in the business, use of the partner program, innovation, obstacles that they have overcome, primary impact of the business, secondary impact, and potential for future growth. Based on our review of the applications, the Liddy Award Committee voted for the candidate that we thought was best and our contribution will account for 45% of the total vote. The online voting that concluded last month will count for 10% of the total vote. Your voting today and the voting at the Liddy Award Banquet will count for the remaining 45%. The Liddy Award winner will be announced on the night of the Liddy Award Banquet. So now it's time for you to vote. You will get a link in the chat. Click on that link and vote for the candidate that you think is the best. We anxiously await your decision about who the Liddy Award winner will be this year. Woohoo! Hello, I am Joseph Tucker Edmonds, and I'm a member of the Board of Directors of Peer Servants, and we have something that we are very excited to share with you. Each year, we ask our global partners to dream, to pray, and share with us something that they would like to do to strengthen the impact of their programs, something above and beyond their normal budgets and activities. What you are about to see is a video of six special projects that our partners have submitted for funding. These are projects that they confidently believe will help more people in their communities to know what the kingdom of God is and who that God is in their midst. And we would like to give each and every one of you who is able the opportunity to support one or even more than one of these special projects to help make the visions and dreams that God has given our partners a reality. So enjoy this video, be inspired, and later in this program, you will have the chance to support the work of peer servants in a variety of ways, including supporting one or even maybe more than one of these special project grants. Hello, my name is Emmanuel Muletambo. I am a member of the Peer Teens Zambia, and I'm so excited to share with you six special project grants that you can choose to support through your donations to peer savers. Let's start in Uganda, where the Peer Savings partner, Kafek, has developed a very impressive demo farm. The demo farm trains their agricultural clients to achieve much greater farming success. It also provides employment and supplements Kafek's sustainability. Peer Savings provided funding last year to the demo farm for a solar-powered water pump 
for their greenhouse. And this pump is also giving the community a water source so they no longer have to walk four kilometers for water. With this grant, CAFEC will add chickens and a second large greenhouse. Your gifts to this project will support food security in northern Uganda. Next, let's go to Pia Sevan's partner in Peru, Kalari Sunchez, whose strong staff team is greatly impacting rural Kachua families. They would like to purchase the first vehicle this organization has ever had to better support their microfinance program that is empowering their clients with skills and confidence to start and grow small businesses. They also encourage creative educational opportunities for children, inspire youth entrepreneurs to discover God's purposes, give support to the elderly, bring healing through healthcare interventions, and so much more. Can you imagine this new vehicle carrying their amazing staff team to reach struggling families who reside in Andean villages? Next, let's rejoice in what God is doing through SALT, Pia Seven's partner in South Sudan. After a long civil war, SALT is bringing true joy to one of the world's materially poorest countries. They used last year's special project grant to involve youth in music and evangelistic outreach. Over 5,000 people heard the gospel through these young people and over 100 made the decision to follow Jesus. Their peer teens group has grown significantly and sought would like to provide them with a safe nurturing place where they can gather for discipleship, music practice, fellowship, emotional recovery as many were offered in the war and so much more. The land has already been secured, so this grant will be for the construction of a youth hub where the young will escape the pitfalls of idleness and be equipped as ambassadors of God's kingdom. Next, let's take a look at what's happening in Invest Credit, Pier 7's partner in Moldova. Their microfinance program has experienced explosive growth even with the challenges of COVID and the Russian invasion of their neighbor Ukraine. This growth is due in part to the digital marketing strategy that PIA helped fund with recent special project grants. Invest Credit currently has four branches and with this grant, they would like to add a fifth. They will equip the office, employ new staff and plan ways to reach new clients. We are very inspired by the way many of the Invest Credit staff and clients have extended love to Ukrainians who fled across their border in these days of Russian aggression. Let's stand with them as God empowers them for even greater things. Next, let's thank God for Porter's House Association, Pier Seven's partner in Guatemala and their microfinance program called Vida Nueva. They have made significant strides in developing a sustainable microfinance program through which their clients are discovering the joy of providing for their families, living with sufficiency and dignity, and sharing with others in need. With this grant, the Chikemula branch will purchase a vehicle that will enable them to more easily and safely reach a growing number of clients. Let's be a part of bringing economic opportunity and the joy of God's kingdom to the rural areas of Guatemala. And finally, let's go back to where we started, Uganda, as Pier Sevens now has two partners in this great nation. Our newest partner is Peers in Action for Development, or PAD, a phenomenal organization focused on youth empowerment and education. They engage Ugandan young people in outreach to the prisons, schools, hospitals, and churches, and find creative ways to serve those in need, including the elderly, those with disabilities, and at-risk youth. They effectively use music, dance, and evangelistic rallies to draw people to Christ. They will use this grant for a public address system for their events. Let's support these young people who are passionate for the kingdom and extremely gifted in their witness. What an amazing group of special project grants that we get to support and pray for. Father, we pray that through each of these projects, your kingdom will come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen.
Hello, uh, my name is Denea Steven, a peer teen scholar from South Sudan. But as for now, I'm in Lira at All Saints University Lango, pursuing theology and community development at the university. I'm so much grateful to be part of peer teens scholar. Thanks to peer servants for extending the nearness of the kingdom of God to me through meeting my education needs. Now my future is brighter and I believe that my dream to become a minister and to see lives transformed and impacted is coming to pass. The knowledge that I'll acquire at the university, I will use it to extend the nearness of the kingdom of God to many other people. Allow me to introduce to you a very special person, a friend of mine, and also a mom. This person is Trisha Banner, the missions director of First Presbyterian Church of Bonita Springs, Florida, the person who made the decision for the church to sponsor me as a peer teens scholar. Thanks to the church for the generosity. Thanks to mom, Trisha. May the blessings of God be upon you. This year, I happened to meet mom, Trisha, in person when she came to Northern Uganda with a peer servant team. The wonderful time that we had together left a mark in my heart even up to now. I now welcome Trisha to come and share why she gives and how you can give. God bless you. Thank you so much, Denaya, and greetings, peer servants, family, and friends. It was also a great privilege for me to meet this inspiring young man who, despite his own challenges and hardships, is eager to extend the kingdom to others. We have become family, and I would encourage you all to consider supporting a peer teen scholar. It is life-changing in many ways. I am here today as both a missions director of a church that supports peer servants and as a personal supporter as well. Through my ministry at the church, I have the great privilege and opportunity to engage with many mission organizations. It is very important for me, the mission leadership team, church leadership, and the congregation to have relationships with our mission partners, to be good stewards of God's resources, and to know that God's kingdom is being extended through the ministry we are partnering with. Peer servants truly meets these criteria. I have also believed strongly in looking at whether a mission organization networks well with other ministries. Again, this is such a strong suit of peer servants, and I have been able to see firsthand their genuine relationships with in-country organizations in both Guatemala and in Uganda. Lastly, a mission organization that runs predominantly on volunteers, well, that is not the norm. It is, however, creative, cost-effective, and allows for God's sacred assignments to individuals to be utilized in a bold and expansive manner. We all have a great opportunity before us to bring the kingdom nearer to those who are not experiencing the fullness of the kingdom economically, socially, and spiritually. Peer Servants is a great steward of what we entrust to them to bring the kingdom near. And through this year's celebration offering, Peer Servants hopes to raise at least $200,000, well, I'm believing for more, to support their strategic programs. Given their amazing volunteer family, you can direct 100% of your gift to your preferred cause. Just scan the QR code on your screen or go to peerservants.org forward slash offering and click on Donate Now. Enter the amount of your gift and click Submit. Click on the drop-down menu that states, please direct my celebration offering donation to, and you will have three main options in how to direct your gift. The first is to where most needed. The second is to one of the six special project grants we just heard about. And the third is to one of nine country funds for supporting the various programs bringing the kingdom near in that country. You can give via credit card, bank account, or PayPal. Once you enter your account information, just click Submit, and Peer Servants will send you your tax receipt right away. If you prefer to send in a check, please make it out to Peer Servants and send it to the address on your screen, 
Peer Servants, P.O. Box 258, Woburn, Mass., 01801, with a note that it is for the celebration offering and how you want to direct it. Thank you for giving and for being part of a very generous family that is bringing the kingdom near to many around the world. Hi everyone, my name is Sabrina Ozit. I'm a peer servants volunteer on the Peer Teen Scholar team and I oversee the mentoring program. The Peer Teen Scholars are dedicated Peer Teens members who are studying in various universities in five countries in Africa. We connect them with mentors who have a heart to invest in the next generation so that they can connect monthly through video calls to build friendships, share career insights, and most importantly, encourage each other in the things of the Lord. It is my honor to offer a word of thanks to you, along with one of the Peer Teen Scholars who's right here with me. Hello, everyone. My name is Jatari Durin, a Peer Teen Scholar from Uganda. I'm studying a postgraduate diploma in law from the Law Development Center. I really love being part of this family. On behalf of the peer teens, the peer teen scholars, on behalf of the peer servant family, I want to say thank you for joining us for this year's virtual media celebration. Thank you for praying. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you for your immense love. Thank you for loving the peer teen scholars. Thank you for loving the here servants global family of partners, scholars, students, and small business owners. Thank you. So many are experiencing the nearness of God's kingdom through the impact of our partners' programs in healthcare, food and water security, education, youth empowerment, and microfinance. We're going to enjoy one more song from our partners in Uganda. There is Peers in Action for Development Choir. And then we'll have our final words from Ati Aline and Mom Leslie. Enjoy. So many words, but none can describe The fullness of who you were And what you've done for me, Lord And I can only emerge in the splendor of your royalty Your glory and your majesty Beyond what I perceive Cause there's so many words, but none can describe the fullness of who you are and what you've done for me I can only imagine in the splendor of your royalty Your glory and your majesty beyond what I perceive And there's so many words but none can describe the fullness of who you are and what you've done for me, Lord And I can only imagine the splendor of your royalty Your glory and your majesty beyond what I perceive I am content with who I am and where you're leading me is in your plans and I am grateful and I am grateful I am content with who I am And where you're leading me is in your plans And I am grateful And I am grateful The worship arise, your glory descend The fullness of who you are Your presence fills this place Your glory and your majesty 
of our virtual Lydia celebration. For those of you who have been to the Peer Servants office before, you might recognize the room that we're in. This is our little lunchroom, but I call it our great cloud of witnesses because our walls are surrounded by micro entrepreneurs from around the world who through God's power and the faithfulness of our global partners are overcoming civil war and natural disasters and accidents and and sicknesses and are growing small businesses they're sending their kids to college they're employing people they are building churches in their villages they are employing young men to be carpenters who are hearing impaired they're doing so many things to bring the kingdom near and we get to celebrate them mm. i'm also here with a very special friend arlene c who i would love for you to meet hi everyone Thank you, Leslie, for that introduction. Truly, it is such an honor to witness and hear the stories of transformation of our three Lydia finalists for this year. I am, again, Arlene, working at Center for Community Transformation, or CCT, from the Philippines. And we are Peer Servants Partner for such a long time already. And speaking of partner, I'd like to thank everyone on behalf of the Peer Global Family for those who have been donating, generously giving to the kingdom of God, for those praying with us, standing with us, journeying with us, going around places, just, you know, just seeing what God's been doing here on earth. Thank you for especially those who are volunteering, giving their resources and time. Mm. I'm so glad you mentioned volunteering mm. because I don't want to fail to mention that if any of you, any of you are interested in learning more about how you can use your time and your talents to be involved in this amazing global family and work with partners like CCT and with people like Arlene. Contact us at serve at peerservants.org. We would love to tell you more. And also, if anyone would still like to give, there will still be opportunities to give through our website, through the QR code, or just to send a donation to our mailing address here at our office in Massachusetts. And so, Thank you for being a part of this event. And Les, let's not forget to invite them 
for the upcoming celebration face-to-face of the Lydia Awardee Banquet this October 29. That's right. If you're going to be in the greater Boston area on Sunday evening, October 29th, we have our in-person banquet from 5 to 8 p.m. in Lexington, Massachusetts. Come and join us. Meet Arlene in person and enjoy another night of celebrating what God is doing all around the world with brothers and sisters who are here. And not just that, but did I mention the food? I'm looking forward to that. So guys, remember we have representation from Sri Lanka, Uganda, and the Philippines. And you got to taste our food this coming October 29. Can't wait to be there. I can't wait either. Join us if you can. We would love to have you with us as a part of this. As we come to a conclusion, I would like to invite Dr. Herma Williams, who is the board chair of Peer Servants, to close us in prayer. Lord, we're deeply thankful for the work that we're doing, which brings the kingdom work through global partners. We're also thankful for those who donate, but especially for those who pray. We pray for God's blessing on those who are the Lydia Award winners. We're so excited for them. We're also thankful for the blessings you've given us in the past, the curtain blessings that we are experiencing now, but we're also excited about the future for the goals that we've set and also for the plans that we've made. Amen. Thank you for bringing the kingdom near. Thank you for bringing the kingdom near. Gracias a Casa del Alfarero y a Persemans por su colaboración y acercar al Reino de los Cielos a mi familia. Uh, thank you, Pad and peer servants for partnering to bring the kingdom near me and allowing me to extend the kingdom to others. Claim your liberty to the captives everywhere. Preach to the poor and open wide the gates. Of every praise where your glory shines forever long. With the Spirit in my life can do anything. Cause my strength is not my own.
Your joy in my soul. I'm deceived, you can sow. In your power, I will go. Till every nation knows. Oh. You've clothed me with your rock. For your joy in my soul. I'm deceived, you can sow. In your power. You are me. Lord, you are me. And you are